dementia researcher with a blog and a rating. Motor neuron disease, MND, is a fatal progressive neurodegenerative disease that has proven difficult to study and even more challenging to treat. Currently, there are no cures. The only available drug, Rilizol, offers a modest increase of one to two months in survival time. The complexity of MND, its rapid progression, and the variability in symptoms among patients makes it a tough nut to crack in the world of medical research. Biomarkers, measurable indicators of biological conditions, are crucial in studying diseases. They help us understand disease progression, evaluate the effectiveness of treatment, and even predict outcomes. However, traditional biomarkers have fallen short in MD research due to the disease's complexity and the invasive nature of obtaining some of these biomarkers. In recent years, there has been a boom in the development of digital biomarkers and remote monitoring technologies. These offer potential new ways of gathering patient health data in real time, non-invasively and within the comfort of an individual's own home. These new technologies have the potential to provide an unprecedented amount of longitudinal information from non-laboratory-based settings, giving us new insights into diseases that were simply not available before. Using such technologies, there is the potential to collect data for research purposes and to predict, prevent, or more rapidly respond to health events that occur within the home. For MND research, the creation of digital biomarkers could revolutionise our understanding of the disease and how we conduct clinical trials. Continuous real-time data can be recorded to help determine whether a novel therapy is effective in new outcome measures, capturing respiratory rates and circulation activity, uh, those muscle twitches, both of which are related to muscle weakening. Using continuous digital biomarkers would not only provide more nuanced information, but also vastly improve the current gold standard of using subjective functional rating questionnaires for monitoring MND. Moreover, continuous remote monitoring could improve the quality of life by providing timely care, such as making evidence-based recommendations for when to begin ventilation or make adjustments within the home to improve the quality of life, patients and their carers. What I'm proposing here is not just a pipe dream. Work has already begun at many research institutes to integrate digital health technologies into the creation of digital biomarkers for MND. At the UK Dementia Research Institute's the UK DRI, Cared Research and Technology Centre, the multidisciplinary team has already created a home monitoring platform called Minder. It uses Internet of Things, IoT sensors and internet-enabled medical devices to remotely monitor patients' health. The system is already installed in over 100 homes of people living with a dementia, and is demonstrating its utility of predicting agitation, urinary tract infections, and other adverse health events in people who may not be aware of these disturbances or may be unable to communicate these problems. In a recent cross-centre collaboration between the UK DRI centres at King's College London and Imperial College London, we are now bringing Minder home monitoring system to people living with MND. King's brings its expertise in MND while Imperial contributes its technical and clinical knowledge in developing and deploying such a system. The ongoing studies are already in the homes of patients with MND and is showing promising results for remotely monitoring physiological changes. We hope that this will provide new valuable digital biomarkers on disease progression. However, remote health monitoring is not without its challenges. It's difficult to accurately label events occurring within the home and understand which aspects of recorded behaviour reflect physiological changes in the patient. To address this, we have started developing digital biomarkers in an artificial apartment laboratory called the Living Lab. The Living Lab is a centre-filled, one-bedroom working apartment located in the Care Research and Technology Centre at Imperial College London. Here, people with a range of neurodegenerative disorders can complete real-world tasks such as making tea and toast in the kitchen, and these activities can be observed and researched with state-of-the-art technologies in a more controlled setting than a home environment, and allow us to refine and develop new digital biomarkers. These can then be deployed into the Minder monitoring system and into patients' homes. The potential of digital biomarkers in MND research is vast. They can provide a more nuanced understanding of the disease, pave the way for more effective treatments, and ultimately improve the quality of life for people living with MND. 
As we continue to innovate and refine these technologies, we move closer to a future where M&D is no longer an insurmountable challenge, but a manageable condition. The age of digital health is just beginning. Thank you for listening. Join the Dementia Research bloggers and share your own views.